Hey, what's up everyone? Aubrey Trades here and welcome to another pre-market prep session. Let's take a look at the pre-market scanner here. Looks like we got IPHA running up 45% in the pre-market. Uh, this is kind of weird. Probably not going to play this. Uh, terrible daily chart. Just downtrending. It's in the 530s. Eh, eh, hmm. So maybe over six. Uh, let's see. Let's go to. Let's go to a weekly chart. Okay. So. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Seems kind of choppy. Uh, next, let's look at PSTV. PSTV currently at two forty-seven. That looks really crazy. Uh, 247. Okay. 250. I like PSTV over 250. Dip and rip. Uh, I want to see this. Uh, this line here on the five minute is this downward trend line. Re Form a runner. You can see here. Yeah. $3 of upside over here. So I like it over 250 to kind of retest this $3 level. Well, you know, that might be the first profit target. And then you got 350, and then from 350, it's all the way to 550. So, PSTV definitely got to wait for the dip. Mm, 945 or later. Let's look at GSM. This thing has just been. Has, has nobody been checking this out? It's crazy. That's pretty cool. Earnings winner. Sick. Spiked all the way to 1118, currently at 1051. Zoom out weekly. Okay, so let's see. So we're here. You see, we got some points here, some touch points here. So we're kind of in the middle of a like of a resistance zone. I'd say over eleven fifty is the goal. Then you can take it to eighteen or something, maybe fifteen. GSM. All right. Again, I uh, you know I would look for these post 9:45 or later. Let them dip. Let them suck shorts in. Next, GSAT. I think we're gonna call it a GSAT since that's only up 13 percent. Look at this, 190 to 215. This is running now. They got they put a news out. 8K. Uh, advanced payment of 37 mil and a half million. To use proceeds to repay portion of outstanding amount of the fur. Okay, so this is like to help pay off debt and stuff. All right, two seventeen. Where's two seventeen? Let's see here. Okay, yearish. I don't know. Over two fifty, maybe. Eh, it seems kind of choppy. Go back to the daily chart. 220. Oh, and this has just been kind of doing this thing. Okay. I see you. I don't know how I would want to play this. I mean, it, I don't know. Maybe over three. So favorites definitely PSTV. Let's go to the charts. Uh, that's all of the, the runners that are showing up for me. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, let's mention um, Bitcoin back over fifty thousand. So, BTBT over thirteen fifty is going to be in play. We have this range all the way up to twenty, so we'll see what can happen. But over thirteen fifty, I like BTBT. Let's look at BITF too. That's another uh, one that follows Bitcoin that I like. It's spiking at six twenty. This 608 support line holds. Then maybe we get a retest to 650, possibly the sevens. Uh, OTC land, I really like. Um, MTRT is. Uh, oh man. Look at this. Ugh. Just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All the way from 50 cents to 505 in one day. Ridiculous. Uh, what I'm hoping on this is that we kind of like retest this 505 area 
and they get a and get a sick panic maybe all the way down to the twos to to maybe get a bounce i would love i would love a panic into the twos or the 150s to bounce to three that'd be so good Ugh, so good top this is my top watch for the morning this uh panic dip by opportunity other OTC names that we are looking at. Let's see, Cubby's just nah, slow, just fader. Not really offering any bounces. The MTRT is definitely the top. RGBP is worth keeping an eye on. I mean, it's kind of like still hanging around, right? Let's look at RGBP. RGBP. I think it's got to like chop around here for a bit, but. Definitely keeping it on the radar. Um, da, 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 da. I want to see if there was any. Let's see. LCLP has some news. Update on integration of Belfrix Group and Cognitive Apps Software Solutions. LCLP. Ugh. Okay. So maybe this gives us a bounce for it's closed at the three and the three and a half zone. Ooh. This has just been downtrending. So we're going to look for the break of the downtrend. There we go. I mean, this went as high as seven threes. So we're off the highs a fair bit. Um, and we're almost at this, you know, support line. So uh, worth keeping an eye on. Gonna... Sorry, Cub V. You get replaced by LCLP. What else dropped news here? PBYA This one's another one that's still kind of hanging around here Off the highs a good bit Three good red days Back in the one cent zone Is that enough range though To like really matter I guess What's their news? PBYA. Should we keep having to scroll back up? Mm, they name North American Crane Bureau and CM Labs expands relationship with new partner agreement. So they got a new partner agreement. Let's see. I'll show you over here. Okay. That is run. Ooh, wow. From 12 to 18 in five minutes? Why? What happened? Nothing. Oh, this is an uplisting. Uplisting play. Okay. That's pretty good. Man. This thing was at 850s like three days ago. That's crazy. Hmm. Right, so we're at highs. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's just get rid of that. Wow. Okay. Sure. This might be a good one. This had to be some sort of like split or something. That just looks crazy. Okay. So we're, you know, we're, we're back at highs here. So keep an eye on this. This would be a good... Um, Dip and rip to new highs. Jeez. Also looking at B big, but I'm kind of hoping B big chops around for a little bit, like for the day, and then maybe like a short squeeze thing. Uh, tomorrow. OMQS. OMQS. Hmm. Take the place of skills here. All right, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please. Give it a thumbs up, really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Consider subscribing and leave me a comment down below um, if, you know, any other video ideas you want to see from this channel. Otherwise, I'll be back with a morning trade recap. That's it. Good luck out there, everybody. Aubrey, out.